If I gave you a grocery list of chips, salsa, Easy Mac, mayonnaise, bread, dish soap, laundry detergent, ranch Doritos, printer ink, bottled water, shampoo, lettuce, toilet paper, and paper towels, and then we got to talking about the weather, you may not remember many items on that list, but what you will find is that you may have remembered the first and last couple of items. That's what can happen when communicating with your customer as well. They tend to remember the beginning and end of your conversations. I've talked about it before, but you need to do midpoint summations so that you both stay on the same page in the conversation. Especially when presenting, midway through, you want to summarize everything that you've covered. Then once again, summarize at the end of, you know, after you've closed the deal, hopefully, of what they're going to be getting. But this is not the point of this video. I want to talk about hellos and goodbyes. Much like conversations, people tend to have an easier time remembering hello or the greeting when you first arrive at a client's home, and they tend to remember the goodbye. Peace out. So we want to make sure to make these two points of contact with our clients a pleasurable experience. So our goal needs to be to leave an impression when we first meet somebody and to leave an impression when we leave somebody. So how do we do that? First and foremost, at the beginning and at the end, your customer, your client, they I'm sure if your market's anything like mine, there's probably 150 to 300 different other options that they could have chosen instead of choosing you. So we need to be extremely grateful and thank the client. How difficult is that? Be sure to thank the client for calling your company. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. We appreciate that you chose us. We know that you have you could have picked from anybody, but you chose us and we greatly appreciate that because we're gonna take great care of you. Sometimes something as simple as just putting on your floor protectors or your booties or shoe covers, whatever you wanna call them, just putting those on can make a lasting impression on the customer, especially when you get the customer that says, Oh, oh, oh don't you don't have that. to do You're that. Fine. I'm gonna be replacing these carpets, you know, soon. Well, put them on anyways. That alone is going above and beyond and it's gonna leave that impression on the customer. Of course, your facial expression, your attitude, use yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. There's nothing more polite and genuine than using those terms and people really appreciate it and it does leave an impression. When it's time to leave, once again, we wanna make sure to thank the customer and show our gratitude. There's never been a single time that I have not left a client's house and said, if it gives you any more trouble whatsoever, please give us a call. We'll be glad to take care of it for you, but I think you're good to go and, and uh, we greatly appreciate your business. Thank you so much once again for calling us. So get used to saying that and be extremely polite. You know, the yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. As far as staying memorable with the client, we go far beyond this in the program Super Service. So think about what you're doing in your hellos and your goodbyes, and how is that memorable to the client? How are, what kind of impression are you leaving with them every time you take care of their needs, whatever that may be, whether it's maintenance or a service call or an emergency situation, what are you doing? Be sure to comment below share with the group and go make money.